absolutely run against Ted. He's as exciting as a rock and a waste of space. <laughs> yeah. He's just, it's one of those like gerrymandered blue districts, my district. They know the Democrats are going to win no matter what. So the Republicans run a paper tiger against him and he just wins. And that's his last campaign was oh, Trump's bad. He offered nothing, did nothing. He's one of those politicians where you're just like, oh yeah, that guy's still around. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you're just like, oh yeah, he's still, that guy's still, oh, okay. Like, well, like he's one of those politicians. Well, that's how they do. That's why they, that's why both parties agree to these gerrymandered districts mm -hmm. because it's like, okay, we'll give you your party that district and our party will get this district. And then, so he can just stay in Congress for years, for years yeah. because uh, the Republicans, you know, and in the, and in the red districts, the Democrats run a paper tiger and then there's some do nothing Republican does the same thing. Oh, the Democrats are going to take your guns and make you make the Bible illegal or whatever bullshit they run on. And then that's how they get everyone to vote against their own interests. It's unbelievable. It's, man. it's just pretty funny because like most of the Democrats in California, they're either just like total blank suits like that, or we know them for horribleness. Like, like it's just like, oh no, you know me, I'm Adam Schiff. You are my name. I'm the CIA guy. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We remember. We remember you. Oh, you were, I'm Anthony Rendon. I'm the guy that killed single payer and broadband in the state. Gotcha. Like, yeah, we remember, but I'm Diane Feinstein. I am a, I am a prehistoric conservative neocon dinosaur here to ruin everything. Yep. And, uh, children don't come to my office asking for a green new deal. I'm going to size you up for stew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dash little girls hopes. That's what I'm going to do. Um, uh, Annalise Garcia, Shaving Knuckles for Justice. Annalise show tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific with Steph and Nick Brana. Right on. Check it out, everybody. JX, Shaving Knuckles for Justice. I'm concerned House progressives will deploy the rotating villain strategy, conspiring with each other to ensure enough votes for Pelosi while allowing progressives under most pressure to oppose her. Yeah, they could do that. Don't trust them. Be careful. They might try to do it so, like, let it let us let us vote against her so we can keep our base happy, but we'll make sure Pelosi gets voted and we can say we tried. That's why they're actually the Democratic Party is hoping they lose these seats <laughs> in Georgia so that they can go, oh, those Republicans in the Senate keep blocking stuff. That's what they're hoping for. Um fan of fanfic, shave your knuckles for justice. Anyone who argues against force the vote is someone who is lying when they say they want Medicare for all. That's a simple fact, black and white. Absolutely. Miss Carter. Thank you so much for supporting the show. I appreciate everybody's donations. Uh, and the big ones are especially appreciated because you're helping pay for people that are money's tight and they can't support. So thank you. Um, actionnetwork.org petitions hold a national vote. If the force to vote fails, we should be the lawmakers, pass universal health care and, and more. Absolutely. That's like out of Mike Ravel's book. A mayor's boom. Shave your knuckles for justice. Do you think whiskey in a t-shirt needs updating post Trump asking for a friend? <laughs> I got a whiskey and a t-shirt and an old suitcase. Um, uh, the naughty vegan. Sorry. I haven't visited recently. I've been watching all the state hearings on election integrity, disturbing what the powers that be have been up to. Oh, I get you, Naughty Vegan. Thanks for watching the show. I appreciate it. Um, Kate, our moderator, Shave Knuckles for Justice, Kate, had a big fight with another Italian uh, language student in college about if Happy New Year in Italian has a one or a two. It's a big difference. <laughs> a one or a two? I don't get that. I yeah, don't get I'm, that. I'm not sure either. Like, uh, Happy New Year a one. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I'm not sure what that. I, Annie's year. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Right on. <laughs> Keith M. Thank you. You're making Gotham great again. The stories tonight made me wonder who else, who do I know struggling with medical bankruptcy, but they're too stressed or ashamed to be let it known. Oh, I know. That's yeah. what I thought. Like I didn't know that because Jimmy didn't want to talk about it, which I understand when I was going through my bankruptcy and foreclosure, which is like pales in comparison to a medical thing. It was stressful. I felt ashamed. I didn't tell anyone about it. Jimmy didn't know about it until six years after it happened. I came on his show in 2006 and he hadn't seen me in forever. And he's like, Hey man, how's your house in Santa Monica? I was like, uh, actually I lost it. And I told him the story and he's like, wait, what? And that's when he encouraged me to start my YouTube channel. Um, cause I felt a lot of shame too. 
And I shouldn't feel shame that the banks are fucking filthy liars. And so are the Democrats and Republicans. Seth Peterson, thank you for supporting the show. We are heading into an iceberg that is going to have global repercussions. Sadly and pathetically, we are so divided politically, economically, religiously, and relationally that the country is completely oblivious to the cataclysmic cat cat catastrophe to come. We have been divided over a period of many decades for a reason, to be completely conquered. That's, that's so true, Seth. Uh, the fact that we keep seeing each other as the enemy tells me we are utterly screwed. Yeah, it's hard to watch, man. When you're watching, like, why are you fighting? We all should be in this together. And you're doing the, like, when I saw some of these other YouTubers attack Jimmy, I was like, you're doing the ruling class's bidding. This is what the ruling class wants. Like, insane to me. Annalise Garcia, hell yeah, Graham 2022. You got my support. You got it. Boom. I will be the people's champion. Um, Perfect Deluro. Dear squad, if you don't try, you've already lost. Thank you for that. Fred Hampton's ghost. What's up, Fred Hampton? Shaving knuckles for justice. I think class lines are being revealed with this disagreement over force the vote. Yeah. Yes. It, you, you're absolutely correct. Um, well, I think, too, like another thing, uh, like going beyond just the pettiness of it, you know, one thing I've learned in life, and I think especially in show business, but I, I think this goes to life in general, the only thing more frustrating than somebody who's scared of failure is somebody who's scared of success. And I, I think there's a little bit of that at play here too, where it's like, you are so accustomed to losing that the idea where it's like, well, wait a second, we actually have some leverage here. There's yeah. some leverage. There's real power here. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, honestly, like for me and, and, and pro well, probably for all of us here, like, this is the first time in our lives there's true leverage, right? You know, electorally, electorally, because it's it's like I mean, you know, most of my life, you know, as long as I've been paying attention to politics, it's like okay, you have a, a Dennis Kucinich, you have a Jim McDermott, and they're kind of these lone progressives where you wish every member of Congress was like them, but you know that's not the case, and you're hoping that it's different. And they never had any kind of leverage whatsoever. Well, now there's, you know, at least in words, more of, of, of those principles represented in, in government. And, and they actually have leverage to do something. I mean, this is in many ways a first. And I think there's uh, some people that are just hesitant, hesitant to actually try to do something. And it's like, we've got to. We've got to. We've been, we've been you know, laying back. And, and taking it and, and just sitting down forever and it's not worked. So now we got to push back a little bit because we have enough to push back with. So there's a famous, there you, you bring up a great point, Ron, because there's a famous Nelson Mandela quote. I'm, I'm going to paraphrase it, but it's something to the effect of people are not afraid of failure. They're afraid of success. And that's what holds people back. They're afraid of like reaching their mountain. They're afraid of like, uh, um, expressing their full selves and becoming their, their most authentic self. Um, again, he said it 10 times more eloquently than I just did, but it's to your point. It's to your point of like, people are afraid. I look, I know this, I'm a Cubs fan. And when the Cubs finally won in 2016, there were some Cubs fans that were like it, almost bummed that the, and, and it came down to game seven and the Cubs kind of made some mistakes and almost blew. And they were almost like bummed that they couldn't go. Oh, I knew they were going to blow it. I knew it. Like they're, they're addicted to that, like failure. They're addicted to the, to the, to the chaos of, Oh, we can't never, everything. It's never going to work. So yeah. they're just addicted to that. So they say that to everything. This will never work. That'll never work. Oh, Jimmy's plan is crazy. It's too performative. Wow. What does he have a house? What a fucking animal, you know, like, so it's, it's just so dumb. Um, Tony DeMeo. It's so frustrating that Mickey Kant is against Jimmy Dore now on unsubscribing from her. You guys rule. Yeah. She's, she's another disappointment. Um, thanks for watching everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button. 
at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're unsubs We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.